How's it going everyone? I wanted to make a quick unboxing video on this JP84 amplifier. Um, if you're interested in this amplifier or any other amplifier, uh, door speakers, subwoofers, subwoofer enclosure, amp wiring kit, battery, any car audio related products, I'm going to put the link in the description as well as the comments. It'll be pinned on there, so make sure you check it out. So yeah guys, I did cut the tape here on the side, but this is a USPS uh, flat rate box. So it came inside that box, with plenty of packing paper. This is the box for the amplifier, blue in color, really nice. Um, it has the amplifier printed on there, as well as on the sides. It looks the same way as the amplifier there and there. So that's pretty nice. And then in the back, it says design in the USA, the heart of Florida and Nevada. So there was uh, plenty of people involved in designing this amplifier. So that, that's pretty cool. And then you have that nice uh, silver color there on the D4S logo. It says JP84. And then when you open it up, it says, enjoy the JP84. Play responsibly. We aren't liable for any chaos, damage, or tickets you may or may not get. So pretty funny, but it's pretty cool. So then in the inside, you have another box. So this thing was pretty much triple boxed when you think about it, which is great for the shipping, right? So on the inside, we have here the manual. And the front of it, it says, read me first or not, but still read me first. So it is pretty handy because this does state all the features of the amplifier, all the specifications, and uh, the power connections. And it also states how to put your uh, your RCAs on here and your uh, pretty much just to make your all your connections. And it also states troubleshooting. So if you're having issues where your amplifier is not turning on, you have no sound, um, it's powering down, any of that issue, it's always good to have a troubleshooting sheet to go back to. And one good thing to mention on here is that it, say, it says that it was designed in Florida in Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, by JP, which is Jonathan Price, the owner, and by Jacob Scott. And it says, uh, special thanks to Craig Smith and Team Down for Sound. And it says, we added everything we could to this amplifier. Amplifier, even Shane Ekstrom helped too. We hope you enjoy the JP84. So there was several people involved in the project of uh, designing this, this amplifier. So that's pretty nice. And then here on the inside, we also have Allen wrenches. So it came with two Allen wrenches for you to secure down uh, your wires to the amplifier. To the side, and then the amplifier came inside this bag, which is nice to protect it from all the elements. And here's the amplifier itself. So it's a nice anodized finish, as you can see has the D4S logo here engraved with a subwoofer and then JP84 here engraved at the bottom nice heat sink design here at the top and also at the sides and as you can see it's a good amount of heat sink as well so really really nice and then over at the bottom it has this pretty thick plexiglass and it has plenty of ventilation so 4 8 16 holes basically to let air in and layer out, air out. And here on the inside, the board looks really, really nice. It says JP84, hello, with a smiley face. So that's pretty cool. The caps here have the Down for Sound sticker on them. It looks really nice quality, as you can see there. So really, really nice. Here at the side, uh, you have the power, uh, protect, and clip light, which it has, which is nice and handy a lot of amplifiers don't come with it and then here on the power and ground uh this, this accepts i believe it's a four gauge uh cable and then the remote and the speaker outputs here are eight gauge and it also lets you know which one is your positive and negative and also uh which one's the positive and negative if you're going to bridge two channels together on both top and bottom more ventilation here on the side and on the top here, bottom and top. And then on this side, more ventilation, top and bottom as well. 
Uh, you, have, you have your Tiffany style RCAs for channel one, two, three, and four. Then you have your gain knob here. So it says from 0 0.2 volts all the way up to six volts and 20 hertz on the high pass filter to 800 hertz. That's at times one and at times 10, it'll be 200 hertz to 8,000 hertz. And you could turn it on and off. And then on the low pass filter, you have 50 hertz to 800 hertz. That's at times one or at times 10, it'll be 500 hertz to 8,000 hertz. So you can select if you want to do times one or times 10 and you could turn it on and off as well. And then all the dials here, they're all made out of metal, which will be, you know, better quality than, than if they were plastic. Um, it won't break on you and it'll be more reliable, right? So yeah, guys, um, pretty nice amplifier. At first, I didn't think I was going to like the blue, but I, I do love it. It looks really nice. It's nice and compact, as you can see. And yeah, guys, if you guys are interested, make sure you check out the link in the description as well as in the comments. And I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you on the next one. Later.